These are instructions for my baby themed pop-up card. This is the inside of the card, including the card base, and this is the outside of the card. I've made this card a few times now and I had never used pattern paper. So the way the file is laid out is for a non-directional patterned paper. But I had chosen for this particular version patterned paper with direction in it. It's got little elephants in a basket and obviously you want them in the right direction. You don't want your elephants downwards. So if you're looking at my cover, you're thinking, well, that's all very well and fine, but your elephants are upside down, except when your card is closed, this piece is actually facing in the opposite direction like so. If you do have a directional pa patterned paper that you're using on this card, be very aware of the direction. So if you look at the way I've laid it out here, this is the exterior of your card laid out on your mats the way that you see it here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue together my card base. So this is the longest piece of your file and it has a score line on the lower portion to attach it. Fold down on that score line. I've cut this out of Cricut Craft Board. It would probably work with an 80 pound cardstock, but I like the feeling of the craft board for this type of card. I'm just putting glue along and I'm just going to move my card till it hits that score line. So it has to be flush on both edges where it connects. After you've attached this, you just want to fold down on both score lines. So now we're going to work on this piece, and it's the one with the rectangular cutouts in the center. We're creating a valley fold on that top score line, and we are creating another valley fold on the bottom score line. For these little squares in between, if you have a bone folder or a ruler, you can actually work it in between the layers like so, and it will help you your piece into position. So you're just pinching on your score lines as you move them forward. Push down on your card, and then you want to lay these flat. So these ones are folding on the external part of your card, and your cubes are folding on the internal part of your card. So as we move this over to our card base, this is the part that folds into the card, and this part is going to get glued down to the base of your card. Before I glue this piece, I'm going to decorate it. It just makes it easier because I can get it nice and flat, and then pop it back into position. So I just cut mine out of this metallic cardstock. If you want to do this much, much faster, you can cut your pieces out of adhesive vinyl, and then it's easy just to lay them on top of the paper. I'm just going to glue my letters down to their corresponding blocks. So now I can glue those squares onto their corresponding cubes. Next, I'm going to take the piece that belongs at the top, and I'm just going to glue it down so that it has an even border all the way around. So top, bottom, and both sides. Then I'm just gluing down my bottom piece. Next, I'm just gonna glue my patterned paper to the bottom piece. The easiest way to glue my baby cube piece in is to fold it shut with those three rectangles fold it down together like so, and put them exactly at that score line. And you want to position this so that there's an even border on both sides. And then you want to put glue on these three rectangles, and then you want to put glue on the underside of the rest of that piece. And I'm going to fold my piece down, and then I've got the top of my card here, I've got my letters here. I'm closing down just that portion of the card and I'm putting glue on these three rectangles and then on the rest of the underside of that panel. And I'm gonna make sure that these are folded down properly and then I'm going to bring the bottom of my card upwards. And just flip it around and when I open it, my top portion is all in position. I'm just gonna glue my bottom piece down. So to decorate the outside of my card, so this is the cover, what would be the cover of my card? So I'm just gonna glue those two pieces down. Then I have the lower portion, like so. This is going to be the holder for my little booklet. This card was initially designed for multiple signatures and well wishes. So 
I have a little booklet that you pull out from the card and multiple people can sign. You can put as many pages as you need. So this is kind of like the built-in envelope for the little booklet. Put a little bit of glue on those corners. And then I'm going to put glue along those tabs. I'm going to glue it down like so. So just to be sure, this is the top of your card. And there's your booklet holder with its little semicircle to help you pull the booklet out. So we're just going to put glue on the back. And I'm just gluing it to that back panel. So this is what the back of your card looks like when it's in an open position. Okay, so next we're going to work on the pop-up elements. So this is the crib, and the crib has its base piece and the decorative parts. The best way to position them properly is to fold down on the score lines first. I've got my narrower piece that fits here. I'm just putting glue on the back of it. I'm just positioning it against the score line at the bottom. I'm making sure that there's a little tiny ledge that shows through at the top. So you're going to do that with all four panels and the pieces that match with them. Next we have these curved pieces and these go in here. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put glue all along this large tab and then all the way up here. That forms our crib. And next we're going to work on our little dresser. We're going to pull down on my score lines. Those curved score lines at the bottom of this piece are just to let you know where to glue down these pieces. We have the drawers for the dresser. You have your tab here on the left hand side. You have your short tab and your long tab. You want to put it on the panel that's over your long tab. I've cut out three rectangles from that piece and what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to layer up two extra rectangles on top of each piece. So I'll have the piece that I cut out of my dresser and then two silver pieces on top. I'm going to stack them up and then I'm going to glue them back inside. And the only reason why I did it this way is I wanted to create a little bit of dimension. Plus having it cut out like that gives me the exact placement. So I've just placed some rhinestones. They have adhesive on the back of them to make them look like drawer pulls. I'm going to put glue on this tab to bring the other end and flatten. I'm going to put my little animals at the front. So I'm just going to put glue on the bottom, put my animals, little stuffed animals waiting for the child to be born, like so. So for my crib, I've cut out a little mobile, cut out a mirror image of it so that I could stick them together just to make them a little bit more sturdy. I cut out cardstock topper piece so that it'd be two colored. I'm just wanting to show that it's possible you can use cardstock, but I figured I would use adhesive vinyl to decorate my mobile. So let's work on those pop-ups. There are score lines telling you where to put your pop-ups, but if you're off by any little bit, those score lines are going to be off as well. So the best way to do this is to lay your piece flat so that the tabs are lying flat on top of one another. So you've got the small tab at the back and the large tab at the front. And you want to take that piece and you want to place it in your card so that the edge of those tabs are exactly on the score line and that your piece fits within the edge of that card. You don't want it going over the edge because then when your card is closed, it will actually peek through. So this piece is on the score line. Cover that top tab in glue. So that's the smaller of the two tabs. And then you're going to position your piece, making sure that you're not overlapping fold your card down and then you want to put glue on this tab and then fold your card upwards now with those rhinestones it elevates my card a little i'm just putting a little bit of extra pressure right where that tab is so that the glue takes so when you feel that glue has grabbed that tab you're just going to slowly open your box and then you have your pop-up element you're going to do the same thing for the crib Flatten your crib so that both tabs are lying on top of one another. And if you look, there is a score line telling you where to put them, but I would rely more on where you need your folded piece to be so that it fits in your card. I want to make sure that it's still within the confines of my card. The angle of my tab is exactly on the score line. 
So I'm going to put glue on the top tab and I'm going to fold my card down. And again, I'm applying pressure where that tab is because now there's a little bit of thickness on the other side and you just want to make sure that you get a good adherence right there. I'm going to open your card, lay it flat on the other side, and then putting glue on that second tab. I'm closing the card. Again, I'm applying pressure. So you just want to make sure that there's good contact there between the base of your card and that tab. For the top panel, I've just stacked up my three ovals and I have adhered my diaper shirts to their shadow layer and then glued them on top of the panel. Next, we're going to work on our little booklet that goes into the pocket that we've created on the back of the card. So I've got my inner page. You can put more than one page. You've got the cover for your booklet. And then I have a piece of embroidery floss. I'm just using a tapestry needle and I'm threading it through, through the holes. I prefer tying my knot on the inside and I'm using my reverse tweezers to help me make my knot. And it fits in the, pa the panel at the back of your card. So I just finished off by adhering my little mobile back and front to the edge of the crib. And then there's the topper for the front. So I've used my printing cut as the base and I've paper pieced the decorative cardstock on top. Then I embossed one of my circles and my piece is gonna go on top of the circle. And then I center and glue that in the center of the other circle. And then this goes on the cover of my card.